rise for two minutes. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I, I rise today in support of my bipartisan amendment in both the House and the Senate to the National Defense Authorization Act, a necessary leap forward in combating the opioid crisis by cracking down on illegal fentanyl from China, Mexico, and other countries. And I would like to acknowledge and thank the co-sponsors of this amendment, my colleagues, French Hill, Anthony Brindisi, Brian Fitzpatrick, David Trone, and Connor Lamb. This amendment will place sanctions on drug manufacturers who knowingly provide fentanyl to traffickers on transnational criminal organizations who mix fentanyl with other drugs and traffic them into the U.S., uh, as well as on financial institutions that assist these traffickers. Critically, my amendment also, also authorizes new funding to U.S. law enforcement and intelligence agencies to go after fentanyl traffickers while establishing a commission on fentanyl and opioid trafficking to ensure that we make progress here. Kids are dying in my district, Staten Island, South Brooklyn, in New York City, but they're dying around the country because of deadly fentanyl. We know where it's coming from, and it's about time that Congress does something about it. The days when a person or a company can find safe harbor in another company and then flood our streets with drugs and then face no consequences, those days have to be over. I strongly urge all of my colleagues to vote in favor of this amendment. We have got to get this done. Thank you, and I yield back. The gentleman from New York yields back. The gentlewoman from Oklahoma is recognized. Thank you, Madam 